The slalom is a very fascinating device that is executed by most dogs with a lot of joy. However, every insider also knows that this device is also one of the most sophisticated devices that requires a lot of training. The bigger the dogs are, the bigger is the strain on their spine. To diminish this strain, we have developed the RS slalom pole with a spring joint specifically for the usage in intensive workouts. Accordingly to the VBH FCI agility rules, only rigid rods are allowed for tournament use so far. The RS slalom pole is made of a very robust plastic pipe, a professional spring joint and an adapter for installing the rod into the existing slalom device. The adapters are always made precisely according to the specifications by our customers. Fast dogs often run almost unrestrained into the slalom and collide thus partly violently with the stationary rods which usually makes the slalom device bouncing off the ground, as you can see in the following slow motion very well. From this perspective, the transmission of the dog's power onto the frame can be recognized very easily. In the following video you can also hear very well how big these forces are affecting the device and hence the spine of the dog. What's very obvious when using the RS slalom poles is that the rattle of the rods is gone. We hear almost nothing. Here you can see very well that the rear of the big dogs has not yet passed the slalom pole in the moment when the dog's head is already on the next slalom pole. This illustrates why big dogs need to twist so much. Our goal with the installation of the spring joint is to minimize the physical stress which in the ever faster, more demanding and very intensive training sport our dogs are exposed to and hence prevent and avoid accidents. Even the dog handlers could accidentally crash with the slalom poles through carelessness on the course. That is why we have adopted the idea of the spring joint from skiing. With these videos we want to clarify the maybe small but very significant differences and the positive impact of the elastic RS slalom poles because almost all the energy is absorbed by the spring joints especially large dogs don't have to wind around the slalom poles that much anymore and this protects their spine enormously.
After weeks of use of the RS slalom poles in practice, we were able to find that no dog had any problems with the elastic RS slalom poles. Dogs of all sizes, from mini to large, have adapted the RS slalom poles very well. However, we also discovered that some particularly sensitive dogs were slightly irritated when switching back to rigid rods. We therefore recommend, especially for tournament runners, to change back to the rigid rods from time to time in advance to efficient tournaments. For additional information and a comparison of the rigid and RS slalom poles, please refer to the product description on our website. Running safe, the new dimension of security and functionality in the dog sport.